telling me I'm alive. I, I feel alive, although slightly worn out. It's been a busy day. Um, back by popular demand. Um, uh, a live because I've been getting more stock. Now, most people who've got any common sense would say it's coming up to Christmas. I'll wind down. might close my store. might take a holiday. Not here at TP Towers. That is not happening. So given that Christmas is kind of almost cancelled uh, for most of us, I thought, well, stuff it. I have an opportunity to buy some, buy some stuff from my flea market lady and the lady was getting rid of some stock and I took it. Hello, Jewel. <laughs> nice to see you. Um, yeah, so oh, I've got loads. I mean, really, I won't need to shop again for a while. And yes, Daryl, it is, it is reselling today and it is, it is clothing mostly clothing, I think there might be a pair of shoes in there, mostly clothing. Mm. I'll put it out there that, although I've got to do the transfer of it, I actually spent just under £110, which for me to spend in one go is quite something. Um, not exactly unheard of, but it's got to be quite special. Let's get that out of the way. And I just kind of started clearing down my office and getting things bagged up, and, and now it's full again because I've got bags. <laughs> So, give me something to do over Christmas. Be nice for Christmas. Well, I might let a couple of people come in. Oh, Maggie on a mission. I like the name. That's excellent. <laughs> on a mission to what, I suppose, is, is the leading question. Um, I've literally grabbed myself a cup of tea. I, got, I walked in the door about 15 minutes ago, shoved a bit of food in my face, albeit briefly, and um, here I am. Oh, hello. I, now, I have to think before I say this, Gaz picks pack self. <laughs> I'm not like Carl. I'm not good at doing tongue twisters at all. The bizarre thing is I'm sitting here, obviously, looking at you a lot, lovely lot on the screen, but I'm kind of over the top of the screen. There's a little scenario that could have come straight out of some um, slapstick situation comedy. There were three men of a certain age, a stepladder, a couple of poles, some fairy lights, and they're trying to put up some lights and it's it's getting quite comical. <laughs> so if I appear slightly distracted, that'll be why. Because it's it's got comedy value. Unfortunately, there is a bit of a tree in the way, so I can't film it for, for you know comedy gold on YouTube, but there you go. Now, Lex is in the house. Hello. Hope you're feeling good after your trials and tribulations. Um yes. Mm. It's the first drink I've had since my coffee at about 7.30 this morning. So I did some work. Then I went out to meet, well, I say to meet, obviously socially distanced not, but to, to go to this lock up and, and, and basically hand pick through an awful lot of stuff. Um, now, and I literally have just got home about 15 odd minutes ago. So that's four hours. I was near as damn it four hours of solid picking. So I'm knackered. <laughs> oh dear. Your body really isn't playing the game, is it? Needs a good talking to. Mike, hello. Hope you're well. Nice to see you here. Hello, Louise, India Life. Good to see you here. Wow, everyone's in the house. <laughs> yes. I, I, I've, I only ever had that done when I had wisdom teeth, which, yes, I know that's counter to... <laughs> It's kind of too intuition, but I had wisdom teeth and one came through and it kind of squished the one in front of it and caused the tooth to crack. So I ended up having to have the tooth removed many, 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 many years ago. So I have a little gap there now because the teeth teeth move, you see, they close up the gaps. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yes, I, I, it wasn't uncomfortable, but it was just kind of quite good that it was gone, I think, a feeling of relief. Um, and I've got far too many teeth in, in my mouth anyway, so not a problem. Now, I met a lovely lady this morning. Well, again, when I say met, I mean sort of shouted at down a very long corridor in a storage unit called Nikki. Uh, she's one of the ladies who is also buying from um, my friend Laura, who is clearing her stock. So she was there this morning having a good pick through too. So it was, it was almost sociable, except all I could see <laughs> was bare buys and some lovely long hair and that, that was it so but hopefully I'll get to meet her again but it was lovely to meet you Nikki if you're watching this back hopefully you're still picking now and getting good 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 stuff now uh, where shall I begin I'll save those for last 
because that's the idea, isn't it? Save the best till last. Not if they all collapse, though. So. Right. Okay. Now I'm thinking while I do this, maybe I could at least put them into categories. But I can see that's not going to happen because there really isn't time. Okay. I hope you've all got a cup of tea and are sitting comfortably because this could be a long one. Hello, Andrea. Hello, lovely. Hope you're all right. Good to see you. Oh, now first, first thing out of the bag. And as I said, I spent just under £110 on everything here. And I'm not sure exactly how many items I've got, but it's quite a few. <laughs> That's fine. I'm glad you're working, guys. That's encouraging. Anyone recognise this little label? <laughs> that was a happy thing already. Tea at the ready. There we go. Let me take the labels out while I'm here, because that'll save me a job later. And you know you end up with these little things. And that one of those under your foot, it's not quite Lego painful. Pretty nearly. Okay, this is Barber, not Barber as you know it, not the usual waxy jacket, but it's it's a lady's jacket with a nice fleecy lining. Now it looks really insipid colour there. It is actually a kind of pale turquoise, not putri putri colour. Colours don't do well, but then the light is fading, so I'm really need to get a crack on. But yes, it is a genuine barber, and. It's a size 14, so it's a ladies' cold stream microfiber jacket. I know that because it says on the label, because I don't carry that kind of knowledge in my head. This is a nice clean one with no faults. Again, I've literally just picked these, so I do not know what they will get, and I haven't gone over them. That's a small child, hopefully not being stood on, but it sounds like they are. Right, so that's a coat. The reason there's so many of these bags is because there are a few coats in them. I can't help myself when they work out this inexpensively. I don't mind grabbing my right, tea. <laughs> mm. So that is a, a, a it's got to be some good money in that. No, surely. Right, next on the list. Now, this is a funny colour. I find this kind of colour really strange. It's that sort of, oh, no, that comes out better. It's that sort of millennial blush. It's a pink, but it basically has blue tones in it. That technically is what it is. Small child. Yes, not mine. It's OK. My child's not that small anymore. And I think it's been escorted home. <laughs> so you can tell from the lining that this is probably going to be Ted Baker. Now, I'm very picky about Ted Baker because it seems to be kind of flooded. But this is a nice spring and i'm looking ahead to spring now and hoping people get the shopping bug a nice sort of little mac raincoat with nice buttons nice big ted baker buttons so if anyone doesn't know what label you're wearing they soon will when they see this it does come with its belt because as we all know anyone who's out there in the field buying stuff knows that half the time hoods and belts go missing but it's all in lovely condition it looks very little worn everything here is somewhat creased up because it's been shoved in bags in the stock room I checked that all the buttons were there and it's a size four. Now, a size four in Ted Baker, uh, I have to calculate it out, but I think that works out to be something like a 12 or 14, possibly a 14. So, very pleased with that. I mean, those two items really should make a fair portion of the money back. Oh, yes, Lexicot curtains, some really beautiful ones, which I'm sure she will show. Stealing her thunder there. I don't want to have spoiler alert. Sorry, <laughs> but they're rather nice. You were looking at Ted Baker duvet covers. Yeah, the, the way they use colour is it's really lovely. When they do a floor, they don't make it sickly. They give it nice bold colours, and it, it works well. From Argos, I was a surprise because Argos isn't the first place I would think to go to for curtains, but I was very impressed by yours. In fact, if I needed curtains, I'd think of doing it myself, but I don't need curtains. I need Roman blinds, and that's I have to get them made, really. Ah, uh, here comes the cord. Brown corduroy. I do well with these sort of things. Um, these are new. We'll take that label out now. Bloody plastic. You'll hear rumbling in the background. We've just had our bins done. <laughs> it's not my stomach, it's the bins. Um, these are fairly ordinary, I suppose, but they're that kind of middle-aged gent in cords but they are mcgee which is quite a nice quite a nice decent brand and they've got an 85 pound price ticket on them so that's a bit tasty the olympic plain front trouser but there are followers of 
corduroy and they weren't too short because I find selling men's trousers if they're short, a short length, they're much less likely to go. A longer length trouser will do far better. Oh my god, where am I going to put things? I didn't think this through. And as Nikki said to me this morning, I thought you said you didn't have any more room for stock because I, I haven't really, but I've got to squeeze it in. 50 though, yeah, but 50 for a pair of curtains, especially nice goldy velvety ones excuse the rustling i'll get some semblance of order here right, 50 quid actually isn't really isn't bad one one of the houses i lived in before i moved here uh, had a big bay window big tall victorian house with bay windows and i had the i had a quote for curtains done and it was hundreds and hundreds i mean it wasn't Oh, it was so scary. So what happened in the end was I, I was a hypnotherapist at the time. <laughs> and someone who came to see me happened to be a seamstress. And what we did was we sort of, we did a bit of a trade, an exchange. So, hey-ho. The curtains are still hanging up there because I've been back. <laughs> I've still got them. Right. Back into leather, as you were. Okay. This is um, for women, which I believe is the uh, John Lewis brand, I think. I'll double, double, double check that because I might get it wrong. Um, but it's a sort of bomber jacket. It's leather. It's real leather. And again, normally I wouldn't necessarily go out of my way to pick up a bomber style leather jacket for the equivalent of a couple of quid. It's definitely worth doing. Um, like I say, it's, it's, it's quite a nice style. It's got some zip pockets on it. And I can check here. I'm pretty sure that for women is part of the John Lewis brand. But they're not going to tell me. I'll check. It may not be. But it's nicely made and it's obviously a decent quality. So and it's black. And brown. Yeah, it's black. Hard to tell when the light goes. Right, yes, crack on. Coat's over there. This must be the coat bag. <laughs> oh no, no, it's not. Oh look, more corduroy. Wouldn't you know it? um this brand is known more for making things out of cashmere and nice stuff house of brewer it's one another one of those sort of slightly middle-aged brands um they're a pair of cord trousers in a size 14 so the ladies tan cord because that's the way it's going at the moment isn't it um just nice new cords really should get a few quid new tags Trousers, right. Trousers. trousers can go in one bag. Try and get some semblance of order with all this. Oh, no, I, I knew as soon as I saw this, I liked it. This may or may not be staying with me. I didn't check the size. Now it's going to be too big for me. Bugger. It's a dress, and it's one of these drapey jobs, you know, a little bit reminiscent of the, the Vivians, I suppose. But the, the actual brand of it is one that I like doesn't always move fast but I like it religion um, that says we live in black well this clearly isn't black so they've broken their own promise there just like bloody politicians this is an extra large size 16 so fortunately it's not going to work for me but I do like that I suppose I am although I will pick up winter stuff I am kind of starting to think ahead into springtime because you know, once you get into sort of February time, people start going, oh, better weather's coming. Yeah, religion. It's one of the brands. It's like it's like um, Save the Queen. I love that brand as well. Really, really cool brands. Uh, this, let's get rid of these tags as I go. This is Cos. I don't pick up Cos all the time. Again, because it's got somewhat saturated. You have to be flexible. But this is a sort of an open jacket in a size. 18 that's a good size nice sort of stiffened jacket again more more spring summer something to pop over the top or something smart enough an outfit um hopefully by then we won't be on zoom calls quite so much a little bit scrunched up but that's quite nicely made and it's been very little worn and it is 100 percent. oh no it's cotton and linen mix with a little polyester but it certainly feels quite nice little kind of jackets my filing is jackets over there, tops over there. Oh, and who doesn't have a kilt? When I saw these coming out of the bags, I'm like, yep, thank you. Always grab a coat. 
why don't I always grab a kill? That's not quite true. But I am rather fond of them and they do sell okay for me, particularly when they're vintage ones. There we go. Rather nice. It's a bit dark and it looks on the um, camera there. Again, there are lots of different brands of these, but when they say they're made in England, that tells you it's vintage. There we go. The Jamie McShum. Shim. Jamie McShim. I'm sure McShim is not a well-known Scottish name. But the, um, the straps are leather and it does come with the kilt pin. Uh, traditional kilt style, lots of pleats. I will check carefully for moth holes because notoriously that can happen. But hey ho. Pretty sure there's another one of those. Well, maybe not. I've obviously just really shoved things in. Oh. Now I liked the feel of this. Yes, it's black. <laughs> oh, it's your size though. Okay, right. <laughs> Fair enough. I was going to say, it'd be a while before it gets listed actually. So, yeah, do let me know if you're interested. Oh, feather. A free feather with a knitted dress. And we know how knitted dresses are right now. This one is a kind of a skater style, I suppose. Fit and flare. It's a nice, fluffy cotton. And it's, I think I've sold this brand before. I'm pretty sure I have Mark. Mark Kane. It's a nice, it's a reasonable brand. Um, it's nice little tags. Actually, it's lifted. One of the little bits is lifted, so I'll just have to attach that. Um, but this feels lovely. Very soft for people who like wool. Obviously, not everyone likes wearing wool. It's not a big size. This one. Oh, where's this? You like a blue tartan? Yes. Fella, the fellas can look extraordinary in kilts i have to say that was like a giggly moment i remember someone selling me a sending me a, a clip of something called um yoga in kilts or something like the men men's yoga in kilts it's quite amusing <laughs> bit of an eyeful but hey ho mark kane here we go uh i'll just try and see what the fabric is okay so it's 80 percent virgin wool and 20% nylon. That's probably what gives it the stretch and helps it keep shape. And they put nylon in things as a blend. So I thought that's quite sweet. It's shorter sleeves, so it'll it can be layered or dresses. Mm. I'm gonna put dresses over there. The right. Anderson Tartan. Um yeah, there's so many different ones, aren't there? I can't, I'm not much good. Sometimes they'll tell you what they are. And this one doesn't say which tartan it is. But I mean, I have done research when I've had what I call a proper kilt, which is one of them, they're really heavy, the proper blokes kilts. They weigh an absolute ton and have a lot of material in them. I have researched. And there are plenty of decent websites that will, or you can reverse image it, I suppose, but plenty of good websites that will give you the correct thing. Um, oh. Digging around. Ah, here we go. Here's the other kilt. This is a bit of an eyesore, this colour, but I rather liked it. What a colour. Whoa. Now, it's nicer in, in the flesh and it's looking on screen. Again, it's done something funny with the blues. But this is kind of a proper midi length one. I don't know if this is... Oh, it's the size... Oh, it says 18. I, I'd say it's a little on the small side for an 18, but I'm not always the best judge of these things with sizes. This is James Pringle Weavers of Inverness made in Scotland. This might be a more modern one, but again, it's got, it's got the quality ones have a, have a proper leather buckles. This one has its original kilt pin and it pretty much looks like it's never been worn or certainly on minimal occasions. So I really like that. That's, that is a classy and a nice size one. Just, I love tartan. See, that is, a, is such a cool tartan. It's got a real modern feel to it. <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, hello, Sue Bad Wolf. Nice to see you. Hello, Granny Kate. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still slightly catching up on myself. It's been a bit of a day. <laughs> Oh, it's nice to see everyone in there. It's a nice way to spend a Thursday afternoon. 
this I picked up partly because it's Noa Noa, which is a brand I like. And it's very, you know, it's one of those summery ones. It needs, has a little wear on the cotton, but I think I can shave that. Sweater shave it, I mean, not give it a full lather up. Um, little frilly detail on the front. But, you know, this is me thinking, hey, thinking, hey, yeah, actually, I want my stuff on for the summer. Um, sort of starting from March, really, because, or if not before, people buy things at all time of the year. <laughs> but, um, oh, I have got a pair of shoes in here. I'm trying to work out what size they were, and I didn't really look. 38 and a half. That's an unusual size. That's a five and a half. But they're quite nice. They need a bit of padding out because they've been squashed in a bag. But they're, they're trickers. And I think trickers is a decent brand. They look well made. Trickers. Um, they're, if, they've been worn once, if that. I mean, they are more dusty than anything else. Um, they do have a leather sole, which, as we know, is always a good sign with a shoe. So... I'm trying to work out if they're black or dark, very dark blue. I think they're black. And they're actually rather nice, but my feet, my hoofs ain't dainty enough to go in those. I'm not sure. But I really like the, the fact they've got um, the nice sort of self-coloured horse bit on the front. I think these kind of loafers are always perennially popular. I think there's always people that like those. Sensible shoes, as my mother would have said. <laughs> Susan will want that picture. Yes, there we go. <laughs> yeah, being pain free, I think, is worth anything, isn't it? Right, now this one I've picked up. Now I've got to repair. Only because the label is, is, is hanging on by a thread. It is literally hanging on by a thread. But I do quite well with this brand, which is Fari. Which is Nicole Fari. This is a men's pullover, although it could be unisex. Blue and black stripe. Um, again, it needs a little swe sweater shave, but at these kind of prices, I don't mind. And I'm not in a desperate, desperate hurry. But this one is a size large, and it is some cashmere. What was it? 15% cashmere, 80% cotton, and the rest is polyamide and elastane. So. It has some cashmere content and the cotton as well. So it's not a big heavy jumper. That's more of a spring jumper. It felt nice. I, I find, I mean, literally the number of bags, sacks. I was sitting on sitting on the end of a, one of these great big, those sort of big trolleys that they have in the self-store units. And uh, James emptying out these sacks on the end. So there's a little avalanche. It's like being the only person at a jumble sale. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going through them. And then when I'm done with them, I'm putting the stuff that I don't want back into the sack so that she can then take it, you know, put it away tidily. And, um, I, oh, man, it's like it really was. They just kept coming. It was like, oh, man, it's losing the world to live. The picture's arrived. I hope it pleases you. It was crunchy. Yeah, they do have to give you deep injections. Because they don't want to hurt you. Is fair enough. Stitches, mm. implant. Yeah, never, never really done that. But um, the only people I've known that have had implants have actually not found them as straightforward. Have found them, they take time to settle. But I think the key thing is to do it quite soon after, and not leave it because your teeth will move then, and that's a problem. Then they've got to push them apart again in order to be able to get the get the teeth in. But I digress. That's not what we're here for. <laughs> You can't wait. Yeah, can't wait for some stitches. Oh, uh, here's the brand. I, you're not going to see it all the time, but I know people know to grab it if it's in half decent shape, which it isn't always because people wear it to death. It's, this is actually East for Anoki, but you get Anoki for East as well, don't you? Or uh, East Artisan with Anoki. It's all basically the same thing. This is a size 14. It's a very lightweight. I love their stuff. I can see why people love it and they pay up for it. It's all Indian block print. And and then they put, you can't really see in this, they actually put overlay of silver, a little bit of silver or gold on some of them to sort of zhuzh it up a bit. And I find those usually do fairly well. You can get dresses, skirts and the tops. 
Ah, uh, tops. Where am I going to put tops? I haven't thought that through, have I? <laughs> I am literally drowning. Right, let me put that there. Right, this is what's taking up room. Again, these usually go right. This is a Jules body warmer or gilet. This is a pink one. It's a ladies one and it's a, it says it's a size 14. I didn't look that big. Sorry, <laughs> will it go over the, go over the Bristol area? <laughs> it, it'll be a pretty snug fit. I think it's supposed to be. That's a 14. I will measure it and check. But I do love the way they have colourful linings. It's a little sort of contrast blue rose kind of thing going on there. Um, yeah. Oh, no, 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 that's my eyes. No wonder it wouldn't go over the breast village. It's actually a size 10. <laughs> so ain't no way that's happening. But that's fine. I need That's something that I need to get listed quite quickly, in all fairness, because no one's going to want one of those come April. So, digging deeper, what else do we have? Oh, hello, more people in, little 33 misses. That's Carrie, I believe. <laughs> it is Carrie. Thank you, Daryl. You've helped me out there. Ooh. I am bad at remembering people's real names and corresponding them to their stage names, if you like. Right, this one I picked up. Let me get that plastic off it again. Oh, plastic. This is Peruvian Connection. Again, these are rare finds, but grab them when you can because people like them. It's a sort of, uh, well, it is a jumper, but it's a, it's quite a thin knit one. It's fair to say it's a size medium and it's, so it's not the big, heavy, chunky jumpers. I've got plenty of those in stock at the moment and I'd rather like them to sell. Now, it would be useful if I found out what was in it. Here it is. Here's what's in it. 100% Pima cotton. Yeah, Pima cotton, that's what they're famous for using organic and pima cotton so and it's a nice burgundy color so that'll do well tops or jumpers oh, tops and jumpers can go together there we go digging deeper into my black sack is that just one thing yeah, in there. uh this i picked up uh, mainly for the name this is a man's jacket and it's a linen well i think it's linen silk I've sold one before that had quite a lot of damage and it still went. This looks like a dish rag. Clearly, it's been screwed up in the bottom of a bag. But this label, when you see it, is worth looking more closely at. Canali. Uh, oh, oh, here we go. Here's my amateur. There we go. Canali. Um, yeah, it's 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 a Italian brand, I suppose. Um, let me have a little look inside, see what it says. 56, well, that's Italian 56, which is a UK 46 chest. Regular, 46 regular. So that's all right. And it's, oh, it's all bloody Italian. I can't tell what it's made from. May need to translate that. Cupro, Cupro, is that cotton or linen? Anyway, needless to say, it feels like linen and it's the sort of thing that somebody might need in warmer weather. No great rush to list it now. But again, at these prices, I wasn't going to leave it behind. Oh, now I liked this. See, so often I buy things I like. Yeah, it will keep me busy for a while. This will keep me busy between Christmas and New Year because I won't, I'm not going out. I'm not. Oh, I don't, do I want to cut that off or not? No, that's a, that's not a new, new label. That's a itsy bitsy label that just tells everybody nothing. Right. <laughs> okay, we still have some light. I've got a ring light on here to try and show you. This is, has a kind, this is one of these boho job ears. Uh, sort of silky, chiffony there at the bottom. Very fine knit, really. See-through. People like that sort of thing. I, from what I, 
it says it's an extra large and I'm thinking that isn't particularly extra large by anyone's standards. Um, I don't know the brand, but Alice Rinaldi, I think that's a reasonably good one. Um, it has these sleeves, which are also partly fabric and partly knitted. And I like the feel of it, to be fair. I just thought, oh, that's quite nice. I know, you know, kind of lager looking boho stuff is, is out in a lot of quarters, but there's lots of people who still love it and will still wear it. Okay, acrylic mohair elastane with some a silk blend thing so yeah but I just thought on style alone that's quite cool and it felt nice nice quality uh, jumpers tops let's put tops over there there we go I literally can't even get out of my office now I've got some things in the way no, there's still something in the bottom of the bag. I keep thinking I've got to the bottom. Right, who doesn't have a pair of nice dungarees? I've got to um, sort the whatever's going on here. Um, they are ASOS ones. Oh, no, they're not ASOS ones. They're Nasty, nasty Gal. Nasty Gal. Straight black leg dungarees in a size 10. They're kind of a faded wash. They're not quite as faded as they look there, but they're a sort of faded wash. Just a straight leg one that you can turn up. So those kind of cross the seasons as well. And I think they're perennially popular. Don't know much about Nasty Girl. I think it's one of those, it is one of those cheapy brands, but because they were dungarees, I mean, honestly, the amount of um, Lipsy, Boohoo, Misguided, Pretty Little Thing. I mean, this is stuff with labels on, you know, new with labels. I just I just can't can't bring myself because the quality of the stuff is so awful and I know there's millions of them out there. I'd rather buy something there's not millions of. <laughs> oh. oh, Susan. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I I didn't start off in clothes. I kind of fell, fell into clothes, which sounds, sounds like a, that's an image, isn't it? Fell into clothes almost by accident. I'm not a style hound myself. I know what I like. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not sure what's going on there. Someone's obviously started a label up. Um, <laughs> nasty girl. Girl boss. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's, it's the woman. But this isn't second hand, you see. These are new ones. So that it's confusing. I will research. But like I say, I just can't bring myself to sell some of those other brands that, nah, they're just so throwaway and it's so sad they'll end up in landfill and they haven't even been worn. What seems to have happened is they've probably been returns that because of COVID they haven't, they just don't touch them. But too many people doing it. So, um, yeah, so I don't mind dealing with clothes now. I just have find I have to be quite systematic. I have to be... Focus. I have to do all my photography, do all of my drafting, and then just bang it out. Really, this I how could I leave? This is this is we should know what this is just from the design. Any guesses? <laughs> yeah, you know it is. It's white stuff. I don't pick up a white stuff, but I do find that the velvety, patterned, textured, more interesting stuff rather than just sort of jersey stuff or things that are very plain is um is a good thing and this is a reasonable size i feel it's not tiny it's a 14 bloody plastic labels though getting cloudy <laughs> i'll turn the lights up if need be do to say if you can't see <laughs> all right so she sold the name nasty girl to a clothing company hmm <laughs> as you do <laughs> Oh, sorry, I need this. I try not to make big slurping noises. Mm. Dove, that was thirsty. Thirsty work. Going through a lot of articles. Ah, that really is it now. One empty bag. It's cost aside. Okay. Good lord. Right. Second bag. Uh, why did I pick this up? Well, 
much. I'm going to take it out. It's lovely taking out the photograph. This comes from Chop Shop and it must have been a return. But I thought it was mad enough. Oh, I fell on the floor. Something, it's labelled. Oops, excuse me. Okay, it has got its labels with it. And it's a really mad scarf. <laughs> Again, I suppose I should get this on ASAP. It's a slight Doctor Who vibes about it. And it just look a bit of fun, really. Um, I don't think it's made from anything extraordinary. It certainly it's not going to tell me what it's made of. Um, I thought that was fun, really. I thought someone will love that. But the touch of the Harry Potters, I suppose. And that's its labels. So what have we got here? One size, 100% acrylic. Well, wouldn't you know? Um, well, it was originally 20 quid, so a couple of quid to be made off that. Especially if I get it out quickly. And because poor old Topshop are going the way of all winds, or possibly, um, you know, they, they have a following. People like Topshop. I mean, I grew up with Topshop, so that shows you how long it's been around. <laughs> it really does. So, yeah, I'll pop that back in its bag. There'll be shit quid in that. I shouldn't think there's too many of those around. <laughs> They're quite loud. Oh, hang on. I do, I do sell skulls and accessories and things. It's not my main business by any means. But I like accessories because they're easy. They don't take much room. <laughs> Unlike some of the other things I've bought. <laughs> yes, I'm not going to wear it. I have a big problem with static electricity. So wrapping myself up in wool of any sort is always a bit of a risk. <laughs> Natural fibres all the way. Who doesn't love a big logo? Adidas top this is a ladies one and it's not a big size it's a small i think i have to turn this up a bit Hang on. Oh, no. oh gold what have i done now oh no off and on <laughs> can you tell what it is yet there it's made a more blue light hopefully it'll give you better better view it's not flattering mind you but never mind um so this is it's the Adidas original ones. I tend to pick up Adidas with the Trefoils on because people quite like it. And it's the size 8 UK. So it's one for somebody who's really, really small. But it is rather cute. It's an incredibly good nick. It really doesn't look like it's been worn. I, I just don't think it has. Um, some of the stuff that has come through from these auctions is, is probably returns. So you know, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. So, so you can see that I'm going to get my money back here. And some. I mean, if I haven't made money back in what I've already shown you, you know, I'm not doing well, am I? Uh, this I picked up because I quite liked it. It is white, um, which is always a bit of a bit of an issue, but it is new with tags. Nice balloon sleeve, which is very much on trend right now, as we know. It's a selected fan. Selected fan, which I think is a fairly good make. It certainly looks at the quality tags. Uh, oh, well, it was originally, well, I don't know what it was originally, but they've certainly got a 50 quid price tag on it. So that's not too bad, is it? And it, a size 40, what size is a 40? I'd have to work it out. It's not a tiny size anyway, which is always a good thing. Nothing against a tiny size, but there seem to be more of those about. And the more sort of 12, 14, 16 sizes, more average sizes, uh, tops. Right, <laughs> trying to have some semblance of order here and failing. <laughs> Don't say Adidas near Laney, it triggers us. Adidas, Adidas. I think Adidas is what the Americans say, and we tend to say Adidas. Who knows? A lot of them are made in America, so I suppose they can choose, can't they? <laughs> you know them things. Well, Lex knows a great deal, very knowledgeable <laughs> and very generous with sharing of information. Now, while I'm buttoning this up, I don't know, because I think it will look like a dish rag if I don't to show you. Um, I liked this because it's got little, I'm not sure what's on it. Is it a little cat, a little leopard? It's got that all over it. Yeah, so that kind of caught my attention. It's like, ooh, cats. 
guaranteed successful if something's got cats on it. Right, this is a shirt dress, which is why it's taken me quite so long to put it up. Covered in what I can only assume are kitties, or maybe they're meant to be lions or leopards or something. I don't know. But this is a brand that I've sold jumpers of theirs. And this is Moss Mosh. I've got a pair of their jeans that I love, absolutely love. So this might be getting a try on if it's anything close to my size, although looking at it, it probably isn't. No, that's going to be too small. That's not going to go around the area. So this is like a, a long shirt dress in a khaki colour. Um, safari style, I suppose, with all the pocketsies. And it's quite nice. I quite like it. What's all this blurb on here? We believe, <clears throat> mission statement, I mean, blimey. We believe that it's very essential to put your heart into everything you do. Okay, check. We believe you should do what you are good at and what you are passionate about. We are passionate about jeans. So this isn't a pair of jeans. Or is that just me being... <laughs> it is. It's just me being awkward. Um, It felt nice as well, which as you know by now from me, is always important. It says it's extra small, so no way, because I'm anything but extra small. This is the Bunbury Jacquard dress. No mention of kitties. 52%, no, 50% Cupro, 40%, no, 60%. It's tiny, it's mouse type. 60% Cupro, which I think is cotton, and 40% present tensor so it's a cottony blend thing but i liked it it was a bit different a bit stylish and comes with its belt because i have so much in the past grabbed something got terribly excited got it home especially from things like jumble cells as they once were and then realized it's sam's belt so dresses um and that's annoying now sometimes you can sell something without a belt and i just say oh, we've just styled it up yourself you know put a nice chunky belt on but things like that obviously have their belt right there's two no no they're not okay this is now i picked this up again i do watch some american um thrifters if you like resellers and you know it just gives me a little heads up into some of the brands that they're into we, we do say Adidas, except Ian the tap doctor, he gets it wrong. Oh, I see. Okay, and Lainey clearly <laughs> has an issue. Or Home Firth Yorkshire person in a suit. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> ah, this is a very, um, again, it's more for the coming seasons. But it's a brand that, again, I think I've heard of in America, Band of Gypsies. Uh, I quite liked it anyway. I wouldn't have picked it up just on brand alone. I quite liked the style and I thought, you know, that's going to be quite the thing for the coming season. And it has, I like things with long sleeves and it's got lace detailing here, sort of crochet, crochet lace. It's a sort of a tunic-y style, a mini on someone young enough and a tunic for the rest of us. Um, but yeah, I thought that was quite nice. Uh, medium. Fairly unlikely to fit me, and it's a bit too out there for me, but, you know. I'm hoping that Band of Gypsies is a good brand. It's either that or it's something very similar, and I've just misheard it. Which happens? <laughs> oh, I had to grab this. How's that for a leather skirt? How cool is that? Again, I might try this. <laughs> it's amazing. Now, it did have a mark somewhere, which I saw. I did see. But I will, it's leather, so I will do what I can to clean it off. I don't think it was anything major. It has got dots underneath. That's part of the design. That's not someone being careless with a curry. But how cool is that? <laughs> love, love, love. Now, this is, again, by a brand I've not heard of. Marcus Lupfer. So it's probably a European, European brand. But it says it's a UK 12. It says every chance it'll fit me especially if I breathe in. So I quite like the idea of that. That one, that one might be staying with me. And if it's not me, it gets listed. Simple as. But you've got to try these things, haven't you? I don't mind shopping for myself while I'm there. It sort of almost seems rude not to. And the thing is, when you're kind of an averagey size, you tend to find that a lot of stuff comes along in your, in your size. Um, oh, there's one thing I can't show. And I won't show it because somebody might see it. And it's on their way to them. So 
Ah, remind myself there. Now this I picked up just because it was mad. This is me being a bit mad. This is the label. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, presumably weekday, Lord. And I, the first thing I thought was, oh crap, it's got it's got bloody great holes in. But this is the design. The design, literally. As elves. <laughs> I thought you'd like that skirt. Yes, I, I'm very fond of it. But if it doesn't suit me or whatever, it'll it'll get it'll get put on. So this is a very big jumper. I'm assuming it's the guys. Must be a man's all, but maybe a very oversized ladies. But literally, I spent half my life trying to avoid holes in jumpers. But I think this is part of the design. And so I thought, oh, that's quite cool. Somebody somebody might want that it's unusual enough it's mad enough it has got poss possible toothpaste on the inside I don't think that was part of the original design so I'm just going to pop that there because I need to do something with that oh, in my to-do pile <clears throat> now just shove that there so I don't know if that's a good brand or not but I quite liked it it was quirky <laughs> I picked these up because they were new and I thought they were on trend, possibly. These are Topshop Moto jeans. They are new with their tags and they are a crop kick flare, which I think is fairly on trend. They were 40 quid originally and they are, as, the, as it says, a cropped kick flare. So they are quite wide. They are quite high waisted, which is very much the thing at the moment to have high waist although low waist do sell just not so much um and the main the actual style name which tops off are really helpful at giving you style names is dree and there are 32 which is equivalent to a is that 12 or 14 maybe that's a 12 i don't know i always get a bit confused but i uh, know it might be a 14 actually so I thought they were rather nice. This raw hem can throw you because you think, oh God, someone's been hacking at the jeans. And no, indeed, it's part of the original design. <laughs> I'm learning, you see. It does help to uh, look at the old trend magazine because otherwise you'd be thinking, oh my God, someone's savaged it. I picked this up. Uh, again, it's it's a little out of style, but it is Max Mara, which... I always do quite well with and it felt very nice it's a it's a springier green than it's looking here this is just because the light's going um so you're going to be seeing everything in darkness and i'm going to become like a black hat in the coal mine oh hello ginger witch no notification oh man i don't know what's happening there this is a size small um but it's 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 a bit sparkly i suppose it'll cheer someone up make their day and this is, what does it tell me? What's in it? Cotton, some, mohair. Ah, that's the itchy bit. Polyamide, wool, elastane. So it's got a bit of everything in it, but it, it's it's the mohair that's giving it that slightly fluffed thing. In which case, I'm just going to put down, because I always sneeze. Uh, jumpers. Mm. Oh, yes, let's put it over there with tops. Tops and jumpers all together. Uh, heavier stuff. Okay. Right. Yeah. Now this is a brand I don't know, but I quite liked the feel of it. This is a man's bomber jacket. It's in a kind of a new buck, I suppose. It is suede, but it's got a kind of burnish on it, so it's, it's kind of almost like a new buck finish. Nice big solid zip. Just looked nicely made. Um got the ribbing around the cuffs there which might need a little shave yeah they need a little sweater shave um but it's in pretty good nick now this brand i don't know but i took a gamble because it didn't cost too much and it felt nice contemporary solid i mean possibly a european brand size medium so, oh here we go solid so, really solidmen.com now there's a title solidmen.com um yeah it just seemed to be nicely made oh sorry that's no has not made me it 
Thanks. Gosh, it is getting dark, isn't it? Uh, if I put this lamp on, would that help? Excuse me a moment. I'm blinded by my own. I mean, like, ah, there we go. I put the overhead light on, it's all a bit much. Okay, this is a little jacket. Um, it's got this sort of slightly padded Asian influenced boho y look. Uh, my main reason for picking it up was that it, it is phase eight, it's a vintage phase eight. You can tell from that label. That's quite a vintagey one, probably from the 90s. And I think it's certainly silky, but a lot of phase eight stuff is silk. So if I actually look in here, 100% silk, there we go. And lined in cotton, so it's a silk, it's a light jacket. Again, not, possibly not for this time of year, but um, yeah, I, there are people who are very, very fond of phase eight. It has a real following. It's a more of a older ladies brand, I would say. I might be being a little unfair. Um, but still, oh, look, what do we have here? Yes, it's a proper, that's the crown, isn't it? That's the queen in the crown. Totally, absolutely. Countryside, sensible brogues, twin set and pearls. We are very much in that territory. This is Anderson Innes of Scotland. So that's a vintage one. And again, I'll have to go over this very carefully to make sure there's no oils. Um, but I couldn't see any. It just seemed really nice. Proper hound's tooth. What size do they reckon that is? A 14? Yeah, not, not in our world. That's more like a 10 to 12. Um, but a proper country. country sort. You see, when I was growing up, there were all, all the older women, they'd definitely be wearing these and their sort of wax jackets and their, their big green wellies stomping about the countryside. <laughs> Usually at hunt meets and things. But that's a whole other story. It's a different chapter in my life. <laughs> yes. Heather the Hunt Saboteur, <laughs> I was, back in the late 80s, early 90s, tearing across the Kent and Sussex countryside in a van with several chums trying to stop people killing foxes. Oh, that would help if I tried to do this around. Now, this is a very vicious green, although whether it will come out on screen, probably not. It's a real bold primary lime green which isn't particularly attractive to me the fact that it's Ralph Lauren made it a whole lot more attractive um it's really a hoodie a knitted hoodie um from Ralph Lauren it's got nice it's got a pink bolo pony there we get a, quite a bit of Ralph, Ralph Lauren around here um 100 cotton there we go I mean it's not the top, top label, but I think that's quirky enough that someone will probably want it. I always do quite well with their jumpers, as long as they're in reasonable nick. Jumpers, yes, there. So you can see what I mean? It's a really nice bundle. You know, there's nothing here that I have any regrets over. I mean, I might find something that's got a hole in it. Because that says law, really. And a bag. Now, what's happened here is it's got caught in the zip. I can rectify that fairly easily, I reckon. Might take a bit of patience and application. But this is a Radley bag with its own little bag. And it's a Radley. It's got some wear. It'll get some TLC from me. But it's a nice boho style, kind of relaxed. Looks a bit tattier on screen than it does in real life, actually. But it'll get some nice feed, good clean up. Um, I'll wash the inside because you can just take the inside out, inside out, and, and wash it under. Oh, <laughs> something flew out there. Um, Radley bags, I know they are widely faked. I don't believe that this one is. It has a nice. They have a feel of quality. Oh dear. Yes. Well, that's going to need a clean. The contents of someone's makeup in there but well, especially since it came in its own little baggy as well i'm quite pleased with that <coughs> and it's probably cost me a couple of quid all to the good but i do need to sort this 
prop them out with the zip and the thing. I like these when they have the side pockets too. Now that one's clean, she never used that. <laughs> Didn't use the outer pocket. Very nice, very nice indeed. And you can usually tell from the feel of the leather whether it's a quality item or not. So, there's a, a, where am I going to put that? Oh dear lord. <sighs> I'm running out of space. And I think there's four shoes in here. Yes, there are. And I think that's that for this one. Yes. So, again, not really for this season. We are talking the coming coming season, I'm guessing. So I have to do the laces up on these. These irritate the hell out of me. Right, these again have been slightly flattened, but they are actually in very good nick. Classic deck shoes, boat shoes. Um, they're quite colourful ones, though. I thought that they were rather nice. Just the blue and the brown, rather. Uh, they're Cibago. Cibago, Cibago. Um, not a cheap shoe. And these, again, look like they've been worn once or twice, possibly. There's no actual wear, a little bit of grubbiness in them that can be cleaned. And they'll look nice when they've been filled out. That's the thing with shoes. You think, oh, they're falling apart. And have I made a big mistake? But no, they're not. Yeah. What do they call them? Subargo dock sides. Oh, handy style. <laughs> What do I do with these other shoes? Oh dear lord. Right. <clears throat> right, okay, just stick that down there for a minute. Right, now if you can bear with just a second. Why have I put that there? Jumpers. There. Okay, right, hang on a minute. Oops. Right, we've got one big bag to go and then a small bag. I definitely don't need a trip to the gym after today. They do look like pasties, yes. <laughs> Cornish pasties. Pasty shoes. In fact, my husband used to have a pair of shoes that I used to call his Cornish pasties because they really were. They were kind of tan colour and had that crimped edge, you know. <laughs> not very, ah, uh, not very edible like that. Yeah, out of view. Is that, is that? Yeah, right, those, those won't be seen. Okay, what else did I get? Now, these are going to have to go in the wash. I realise that because they have a little mark on them just there. But I thought it was worth a try because they are Issy May Miyaki Men. Issy Miyaki or Miyaki or the Malaki, whatever he's called this week. Um, these are men's trousers, size four, which is of no use to me whatsoever because I what a size for is i have to go on their website and look it up but they're quite nice again not really for this season but more for the slightly casual summer we're likely to have they look quite cool but it's almost like a ticking material very really nice nice cotton ticking oh itchy nose sorry ah. trousers trousers down there right so i'm hoping that is the Mariki will be popular and he'll wash up all right. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> right. And if I get any more bloody returns, I really will swear, because <laughs> it's been silly season for returns. Even ones from abroad. And it really makes me think they need to overhaul their GSP system. It's very good at getting stuff out there and looking after an order going out. But when an order comes back, all of a sudden it seems to be your responsibility. It's like, but I can't give someone in Switzerland a label. It's just not happening. Um, and, and it just, the communication between eBay and me isn't very good. They'll say there's a return's been opened. Okay, a return's been opened, sure, it should come back then. Why do I have to get terribly involved? Why can they not treat returns just the same way they do UK ones, where I have free returns on UK ones? But what annoyed me is that that particular return was for a nice big fluffy coat, faux fur coat, nice big grey faux fur. I'm not answering that. Hopefully, Huggy will answer that. 
but yeah um and uh yeah so I, I anyway i know it was a size 16 because basically i tried it on i'm doing a live sweetie who is it i can't who is it i can't take a line <laughs> I'm on. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, she's actually in a meeting at the moment. Uh, is it possible to call back some other time? I'll call back. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. right, there we go. This is a white stuff skirt. Sorry, honey. <laughs> I, so, usually when we get calls in our landlines, people trying to sell us something, so I'm really not going to interrupt doing this. There we go, white stuff, and that is a size 10. It's bigger for 10. But it's one of their sort of woolly ones, so that really needs to go on quite quickly, um, because it is of the current season. Oh. Yeah, so saga of the um, money. God, oh no, it just means I've been near wall. <laughs> um, yeah, so I knew it was a size UK sixteen. It said size sixteen, and then it said thirty eight. Now, a thirty eight in European terms is a, is a ten. A very important meeting with you, God. <laughs> Far more important. Um, but, you know, I tried it on thinking, oh, I quite like that. And it, it swamped me. So it's like, yeah, that's. So for her to say, oh, no, this is a size 10. I'm like, you silly ass. Item not as described. You. <laughs> but there we go. The joys of the life of an eBay reseller. But I'm not impressed. I am just not impressed when people do that. It's like, come on, if you didn't like it, fine, change of mind. I'll happily, you send it back to me. Um, you pay the return post and I'll happily give you the proper refund. But no, don't try and do that because that's, but there we go. But if you don't do anything, eBay actually um, just close it in, in the buyer's favour. And I had that happen to me accidentally because I was waiting on, I'd sent confirmation of the fact that something had been sent and had been registered as delivered. Um, the person was saying they hadn't received it, and eBay just closed the case and um, said I'd done it without resolution. So I have a one ding on transaction defect, but I've only got one, and it's like, oh, can't be asked to speak to people, speak to them really about that. It's not worth it. I thought this was cute. It's a very gauzy, cheesecloth-y kind of thing, and it's a uh, page are quite well known for their jeans. This is the modern page label, I believe, a fairly modern one, but it is an extra small, which is a bit tragic because it's not sweet. But that's quite a good brand. I had some of their jeans once and they were quite nice. I'll forget why I'm putting things in. Cops. Mm, over there. <coughs> people. People being people. <laughs> yeah, hey, retro. I, like, I, I can't resist a bit of retro. It's got to be done. Now, this I picked up. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. As I've said, I don't often pick up. I don't pick up everything white stuff. I do like the textured skirts. And, and this is dress, white stuff dress. And again, it's all, it's, you know, it's a bit hippie boho, comfy. Just quite nice, really. Quite a decent pattern. So I thought we'll give that a go. Three quarter length sleeve. I think I've got another one that's quite similar, actually. And that's a dress. And a pile of dresses is starting to tower above me. Oh, here we go. Here's the other one. I did put them together. And this was the other one I picked up that was sitting there together. So I thought, well, why not? They're both a 16. 16. So they're a nice size as well. I mean, all sizes are nice sizes, but 16s, 14s and 16s do sell very well. There we go, it's a little floral jobby. Same sort of thing, just a pop-over dress. Um, in a nice style, a little bit unusual. Sort of contrast, sli contrast sleeves. Um, I tend not to pick up the jersey dresses anymore because I found that they just weren't moving and I think that's just the sheer volume of stock on eBay. Currently, that could change, obviously. Um, oh. Right, this looks a bit like a crushed disrag too. So, but it's a jacket. Oh, excuse me, take the all. It's getting dark. Uh, it's a jacket in a quite a dark snake skin. I did quite well with this sort of pattern. 
because it's not too in your face it's a snake skin design and this one is actually Gil Brett, which is it's like a European brand, which is quite a nice brand. Um, it's a cotton one again, so it's probably not of this season. But a very simple style blazer. Mm, let's look at the button on that button hole. Might need a bit of work. So that's good and good batch of stuff, really. <laughs> and uh, let me go here. Is, this is something that'll need to go on fairly soon. This is the White Company. I quite liked the waffle knit. There we go. That's what I mean by waffle knit. It's textured. And it's... Yeah, it is an open cardigan. I was just wondering if it had a... I find the White Company do make stuff very nicely, and they're bloody expensive new. If you've ever looked through one of their catalogues, it's quite eye-watering. This is a very long, open fronted kind of cardigan jacket I suppose knitted in a nice grey nice charcoal grey neutral and it says it's a UK small um probably fit a 10 to 12 though to be honest all right a little pull thread there so we'll get rid of that and there we go so that's that's a good staple Oh, jumpers, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's all getting very precarious. I think we're starting to get some figures. So I've got a tie here. I will pick these up. This is um, Lavin. I'm very careful to make sure there's no stains, no wear, particularly at these edges or at the end of the blade there. Um, it's quite a cute little design. I think they're snowflakes, so maybe I need to get that on really quickly. I didn't really pay much attention to the design. I just realised that it was an authentic Lanvin Paris. Lanvin Paris. And that somebody might want that. They, It's got a bit crushed, so I kind of put them separately so that they don't get creased up. I think there's a couple of ties in here. But... Oh, let's get into the Mm. Now, here's a brand I really don't pick up very often, but this is a man's Orvis. Men's Orvis does all right. I have a real issue with ladies' Orvis, and I don't know about the signature fleece pullover. But I think it being new and being a large, God, they like a colourful logo, don't they? Look at that. Sort of fishing gear, country shooting fishing gear. Well, that says XL. It isn't an XXL. It said large inside. So that doesn't belong with it. <laughs> yes, nobody wants an iron ad for sending it wrong. So, yeah, she says it's a large. There we go. It's in grey. It's it's fairly dull. But um, all this is a quality brand and not a cheap brand. And as I say, I tend to find menswear does better. The stuff that does really well is kind of like the shooting jackets with all the pockets. And that that's that does really well. But that's probably a bit too much to hope. Don't always see those sort of things. Sorry, setting everyone off yawning. It's really dark out there now. It's just I've got this light on quite brightly. Right, always a sucker for a nice jacket. And I have a lot of jackets. <laughs> well, I keep buying them, heaven only knows. But this was a vintage one. And the name kind of rang bells. So it's, it's a single button. Single button? Yeah, just one button. Nicely lined. You can't really see the colours so well, but this really has a, a sort of a purpley, purpley, purpley orangey kind of. Yeah, you can see the colours a little more closely there. But the, the name intrigued me. Polly Peck by S Sybil Zelka. Made in England, so clearly vintage. Nicely lined. Um, you know, basic design. Uh, so, oh, it's a mixture of fibres, so it isn't wool, but it, it is quite old, and I just thought that's quite nice, nice little, nice little Tweedy style jacket there, jackets over there. <laughs> now this may well surprise you. It's what, what I call a tri-suit. It's an all-in-one that has a padded bum. Oh yes, padded bum. That's for the cycling bit. 
Um, I don't know this particular brand. But it was so colourful, I thought. And a lot of people are into triathlons and things. I have sold this sort of thing before. May not be a great deal of money, you know, but how can you ignore that? I love the colours in it. I mean, wow. <laughs> See them going a mile off. That will be Alex. My son's home from school. Um, so, yeah, that's something to learn about for me. Athletic wear. And these sort of things are quite strange. This is actually a mesh, the top part of it's a mesh. Very lively. So I'm going to enjoy running in that. So that's one of the more weird things that I will pick up. I think I picked this up just because I liked the feel of it. It's so furry. Ah, there you go, Bond Treasure stuff. Oh, good money. It looked quality made. It looked decent quality, to be fair. Now, this is actually a jacket. And the sad thing is, is that the brand has actually been cut out. But the prices I'm getting these for, it didn't really matter. It just feels so nice. I'll do a little bit of research. It is a size 12, so it might fit me. <laughs> Can you see me walking around as a big fur ball? <laughs> But it's so soft. I mean, I know it's not Primark, but other than that, I can't really, I can't really say too much about it. But it was lovely, and I couldn't help myself. So that was just my my need for fur. That's textures. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I knew this would take a long time. I didn't realize how long it would take. My son's only got tomorrow morning to do for school now. And then, then he's finished. Link to Trek Bicycle. Thank you, Daryl. I will um I will look that up afterwards. That's that's very kind of you. Um right, here I have a men's shirt. Um, which I thought was quite nice. Very basic trek pattern, but it's far here again which I do all right with. I haven't really so much in the way of their shirts, but it's a it's a lovely cotton shirt. And it appears to be lined in silk. Or at least the top part is lined in silk. Kind of kind of luxurious, I thought, and kind of lovely. So we'll see how we do with that. Um, it's also quite a big size. For some reason the size thing's gone missing, but it's it's not a it's not a small one, it's it's quite big. XXL, there we go, 100% cotton. Doesn't say anything about the lining. Hmm. Okie dokie. But there we go. I like Farley as a brand. It's it's an unusual brand. You don't see it that often, so I'm quite happy with that. Now, where am I going to put that? In? There. Right, looks like slightly bigger things here. As I get near the bottom of the bag. It's not showing you very well, is it? This is a jacket. It's a vintage one. Quite an unusual design. I do, I do sell quite a few jackets, and then sometimes they don't move, and I'm like, oh, because they take up so much space. But I just feel they're they're good value when they do sell, and they have quite good returns on them. Um, so here we go. That shows it a little better. Three small buttons there. It's a tweedy fabric. It's got a slightly bigger sleeve. You can turn turn the sleeve up. So it's got like a three quarter sleeve. The brand is something fashion. Jasmine fashion? No. This is where I need my eyes because the light's not so good. Clothing fashion designed by Jobis. Okay, but it has a vintage feel to it, and the design is quite vintage, so I thought that's all right. It's got three little buttons that seem to be suede covered on the front, so that, that I think, kind of, the lining is really, really nice. It has a couple of holes in it, but nibbles out of it, but I don't think that will worry anyone too much if they like the design. Can't see what it's made from, but there you go. It's probably going to be wool, or at least part wool. This looks like it's been through. It's a bit of a dish rag. It's red, 
again, I have thought of myself for this. Oh, just a longer line jacket with a single button fastening. And again, it's had the labels removed. Kind of frustrating. I have to double check that. It, it's kind of like a boiled wool felt. And, but it's a, it, it, it's a 14, which in a jacket will work for me, as long as the waist isn't too big. Um, I liked it. So that was more about me picking for me, I think. If it doesn't suit me, then it'll get listed. But it's annoying that, that some places do, some auction houses and things do take labels out of things. Sometimes you can work it out, you can guess. <laughs> but not all the time. All right. I'm heading towards the bottom of this bag, so the end is inside. Bloody nearly pitch black out there now. Right, here we have Adidas. Again, it's that name. Original Sport. So there's all sorts of different ones, aren't there? This is Adidas Original Sport in an XL size. I haven't seen this before, so this is what I don't pick up everything that they use. So Original Sport, and it? it's, it's a hooded wind cheater bomber kind of arrangement um yeah don't know really doesn't look like it's been worn looks like it's new without tags i think it was one of the auction pieces that she picked up in the bundle so um but being original sport with the trefoil again is something i will look out for and it was a firebird they call it Oh yeah. Now this this is quite isn't in particularly current style, but it does have a slightly sort of oriental feel to it, Asian-y feel. And the reason I picked it up, even though it's a little out of style, is because it is by Antique Batik. They're a very high-end and expensive brand. There we go. It's all a bit, it's all a little bashed about, but there it is. Um, so this stuff is beautifully made. Um, I'm not sure if all the embellishment around here is such a current look, but again, these brands have their following and somebody might like it. They'll look amazing in it. I just look like the phone on top of the Christmas tree if you stuck me in something like that. <laughs> Anything overly embellished, it's it's not a good look. Oh, nice. Okay. Thank you. Bib short. That's it. Yes. They all have lots of different names for them all, don't they? Thank you, Dale. That's very kind. Do my research for me. <laughs> Don't mind if you do. <laughs> oh, there's another quite funky tie. I like that little paisley design. Again, a nice one. This one is Polo Ralph Lauren. These look very new. I know they're genuine. You can tell from the labels. It's just, I think I'm getting, I'm, I'm better with Polo and Ralph Lauren than I am with a lot of other brands because I've seen so much of it. Um, but that's such a nice thing. Now, people say, oh, nobody's buying ties. But you know what? They do. Maybe not as often as they used to, but if it's something nice and they want to look nice for a Zoom interview or something. I can see that being a thing. Oh, yeah. OK, a pair of sort of, these were really strange style jeans, and that's why I got them. I've done well in the past by picking up jeans that just look weird as heck and just because they're weird i don't know the brand i don't know anything about them but if i'm not paying much for them i don't mind so we have these are sort of jeans but they're kind of jobber style they've got this kind of slightly carrot lid about them reinforced groinal area <laughs> that's not a keyword i'll be using in time soon but um they've got these buttons and the brand seems to be Humor, H-U-M-O-R. And then it's got a little sort of head with it, with headphones on. Very bizarre. And then it, then it says in here again, it's kind of got lots of hallmarks that say so it's probably quite a good pair of jeans. And that on the back. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just thought they were quirky enough and unusual enough that somebody might want them. Give myself some research to do, haven't I? That's what happens. Another toy. And as if you couldn't guess, you might guess from looking at it that it's probably going to be the same as the other one. 
Hola Ralph Lauren. These are silk ones. They're woven in patterns that are printed. Um, a slightly wider tie. But, you know, I kind of think I have a feeling ties are due a resurgence. Maybe that's just me. The fact that I think, that, you know, they're art and they're beautifully made. It's like scarves. They're, they're evocative of a whole different era. Oh, I'm not the the chair. Wow. Okay. We got there. Now, I don't normally, again, particularly pick up MS stuff necessarily. I mean, you know, it's not something I make a beeline for, although I know they're not cheap new. Um, but this had mad buttons and happened to be in houndstooth. And I thought, you know, that's quite smart and quite cool. It's a bit mod. The buttons on it are absolutely, I mean, huge, <laughs> fabulous buttons. It's m and Woman, which is, is their sort of better range. I mean, it's just my style, really. Thankfully, both the buttons on the cuffs are there, which is a relief. I hope it hasn't got any L's. I will check. Right, I think that's quite a nice thing. So there's a little debobbling needs to occur. But uh, that's not a major thing. And it has got nice big deep pockets at the front end. We all like pockets. Right. OK, I'm very nearly at the end. I sort of saved the best for last. And before the light completely fails on us and I'm sitting here sort of blinking at you. <laughs> right. So here we have. Yeah. This padded jacket with a corduroy collar is a very lightweight, it has to be said, barber. It looks pretty genuine to me. I'm not seeing anything that leads me to believe it might not be. It is very strangely lightweight, which made me think, is it an inner to one? But it definitely isn't because it has pockets, in, which the liner wouldn't have. I have sold liners before, actually. This really doesn't look like doesn't look like it's being used at all. Um, yeah, it's just uh, it's got the ribs on the cuffs. It's great neck. What's that? I have to look at that more closely when I've got my eyes in, and I'm not as tired. So there we go. That's a nice a nice barber. So that's that's got to be some decent money. Um, and it's all properly embroidered in and there are places to look for things and I'm aware of that and I will do that obviously in better light. But I was quite pleased with that. That's a size medium. That I believe is a man's size medium. Yeah, it has a couple of little scuffs here. Um, I think that will just clean off or it may need to go through the wash if needs be. Not a problem. Don't mind if I do. I will say yes to barber any day of the week and although there are fakes about we i find that we get quite a lot of genuine ones i think it's just there's a few people down here who've got more money than sense <laughs> um, for which i'm very grateful i mean i i did have a barber i had one for years and i bought it back in my hunt saboteuring days and i bought it second hand from a charity shop and i wore it to absolute death and it looked battered and that's the perfect look if you want to be able to skulk around in the countryside and have no one give you a second glance no matter what you who you're mixing with that don't go in a brand new one you're going a bashed about one far more authentic far more believable um, and I, then i actually sold it even in its bashed up state for some quite decent money which was a surprise and once again, this one does have to go in the wash. This also is barber. It's the sort of gathered in one. This is ladies' one. Um, again, it's another lightweight. It's lightweight one. It has got somewhere, but it's got nothing horrible. It it just it just could do with a run through a washing machine. Um, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. I will double check these. There we go. We've got all the barber things there this is a size 10 so i will make sure 
There's nothing in the pockets, but everything is as it should be. There's no loose threads. This is actually fleece lined, which is lovely. It's very lightweight, but presumably very warm. Oh, what's that then? Why is there an extra pocket there? That's very odd. Yeah. Oh, I see. It has an inner pocket and an outer pocket. God, I'm dense. <laughs> it can be very dense sometimes. Very strange arrangements of pockets. Is so, yeah, I'll give them all a proper once over, but that will go in and wash. But like I say, I'm doing all right on the barbers. Yes, and yeah, all the metalwork has it on as well. So that's usually a good sign. Right, we're getting near the bottom, so to speak. And of course, no haul for me will be complete without a real leather jacket. It's a huge. It's got that distressed, bashed around look on it. And I believe the brand appears to be real leather. <laughs> As is so often the case with these. But it is new, in spite of looking bashed about. Extremejackets.com. Might have to investigate them. It's got a vintage look about it, that's for sure. And I, you know, it does feel very nice quality. Very nice quality indeed. It smells lovely. That's not very vegan of me, but I do like the smell. I'm not vegan. I do like the smell of leather. Good quality leather should smell. Um, but that's just so nice. Has that real worn in, bashed around look that a lot of people want. And the size is good. That's going to be an extra large, I would imagine. Oh. Right. Um, here's the penultimate thing. I have to please tell me the belt came with. Yes, it did. It has its original belt. It's in a really nice, it's easy for me to show you close up on the belt. It's in a really nice herringbone fabric. It's it's a long coat. Made in Italy. Can you tell what it is yet? <laughs> oh dear, no, that's really that's not the thing to say, is it? It looks like it's been crushed. I can't really show you, can I? I'm doing a really poor job of showing you a long length coat. But I should oh, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful. It feels lovely. Looking at, I kind of sort of had to grab it a bit at this point because time was running out. It, it's lovely. It is just so nice to see. I know these don't go very quickly. I'm very aware they take time to sell. I'm trying to find a label to show you the brand. Here we go. Good old Giorgio. Giorgio Armani. The Collezioni, with all the relevant bits and pieces inside, as it should be, mostly wool. It, just lovely, just lovely. Made in Italy. You know, I need a little bit of a tidy up. It needs a steam and to hang and to be made to look gorgeous. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that is a man's one. That's the way the buttons go, isn't it? The way the buttons go. Maybe it isn't. It might not be in there, this one. No, it will be, because, yeah, it, it is a man's one. That's fine, I thought it was. Right, so that's a man's coat. I can put that back down there. And the final thing, which could be a complete and utter bust. But I was, I thought, well, you know, this this is a gamble, really. I've more than made my money back. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, Dale's researching for me, bless you. I'm still going. I'm on the last thing. I'm on the last thing. And the, this could just be completely silly or whatever. I know next to nothing about trainers. I had these weird, weird things on them. This kind of, and they have, they are a creamy colour. I don't know if they're meant to be or not. These sort of weird I just thought those are so weird. I quite like them. They also have very little wear on the bottom. So I kind of thought, well, whatever they are, they're, they're in good enough, Nick. Um, Nike. And it's like a faux kind of... Um, oh, what's this? Crocodile alligator kind of look where they do that with the with the leather. 
Oh, cycling stuff's your thing. Oh, fantastic. Well, it's very helpful, darling. Much appreciated. Because it kind of means I know where to start. I, I, I only know a bit about cycling stuff because my husband, um, when he was cycling to work, obviously not now, um, has an electric bike. Amazing. Bloody amazing thing. Um, but obviously he's had to buy kit to wear to get on the bike to go to work because it's, it's still a good half an hour and um, so he's had to buy an awful lot of stuff and it's bloody expensive so that kind of alerted me certain brands um, you know nice quality brands are bloody expensive so that's kind of piqued my interest if you like so I'm, I'm learning more about that kind of thing um, yeah tiny little bit grubby I'm not sure exactly what they are Nike hmm. Let me get the I. UK9. NikeBetterWorld.com. I would have to check numbers and things. But I just kind of thought they were so weird looking. And they look like the kind of thing you see people pick up. I mean, white. Why would someone have white trainers? <laughs> they are a little bit crazy. And I know there are people like the book. Oh, that's what they are. No, those are so fake. They're ridiculous. Well, if they are, I... I considered it a gamble, it's money spent. But they have this this on here. Oh, hang on a minute. What's this say? Nike buying air who who arch who arch? Who arch? I think I butchered that. Uh buying Nike. And uh, hang on, that is a really good one. So I reckon I've probably got fakes here. Um quite likely. But, you know, <laughs> there we go. Let me show you. That's what it says. Ehuache by Nike. Or Nike, depending. Oh, I say Nike. Um, yeah. Nike Air. They certainly look nice. But like I so say, people, if they're very high in ones, then people can fake them incredibly well. So I will be researching. But it's a chance for me to learn a little bit more about trainers. And I may have to put something in one of those groups where sneaker heads and people who know who know stuff about these things you just have somewhere but they're not horrid um yeah that was more of a, a punt a true punt because it's well outside my comfort zone but if you don't go out your comfort zone you don't learn new things so oh dear god now i've got to clear away so i can actually get out of my office thank you so much for joining me <laughs> appreciated this is the last haul of before christmas in fact i probably am not going to go anywhere near any sourcing until well into january now i don't need to and i give myself enough work to do to be frank <laughs> um yes i have overreached myself i believe um so i will see you all anon if i don't see you lot before have a good christmas for those of you who who join us on the witches in and the witches in is in becky's here hi becky um if <laughs> if you join us for that we will see you beforehand but i might pop on a solo because we do random stuff like that because i couldn't plan my way out of a paper bag really to be honest so have a jolly good christmas thank you nia and you have a lovely christmas too all of you have as good a time as it's possible to have and you know fill your boots drink eat do those things because why not so take care of yourselves and I will say tatty bye. Here we go. Do I end the book? Yes, I end the broadcast. <laughs>